guys, let's start unboxing the newest entry level smartphone ng Nokia. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the Nokia 2.3. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's go ahead and start unboxing the Nokia 2.3. And also yung variant na meron ako guys is the 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. And yung color na meron tayo right now is the cyan green. So let's start unboxing this phone. So as you can see guys, inside the box, may kita nyo kaagad ang Nokia 2.3. So let's set this aside first. So sa, at, sa pinakaloob ng box guys, we have the SIM pin ejector. And we have a small box sa ating gilid ng phone that contains the wall charger, headset, and the micro USB cable. So sa pinakaloob nyo guys, I think we have the user guide manual, and the warranty card. So let's set this aside and let's remove the plastic and set up na rin natin yung Nokia 2.3 natin, guys. So sobrang ganda ng colors nga, guys. May pagka matte finish siya. Okay na okay yung color niya, guys. Sobrang ganda. So let's remove this. And before we set up the phone guys, itor ko lang kayo ulit kung ano ba meron sa phone na ito. So sa right part ng ating phone, we have the volume rocker, the power button. Sa left part naman guys, I'm not sure. I think this is a Google Assistant but I'm not sure for that. And this is the SIM tray. Sa upper part ng phone natin, we have the 3.5mm headphone jack. And on the lower part of the phone, we have the speaker grill, the micro USB port, and the microphone. And as you can see as well, guys, we have a dual camera setup for this phone with the LED flash and the Nokia branding. So starting out then, is set up ang ating Nokia 2.3. All right, guys, finally we're done setting up the Nokia 2.3. Unahin na natin kaagad ang display quality para sa ating Nokia 2.3. So this phone has a 6.2 inch IPS LCD display with 720p resolution, 271 ppi density, and 19 by 9 aspect ratio. As you can see guys, okay pa rin naman talaga yung display quality sa ating phone or Nokia 2.3. So far, vibrant pa rin naman and okay pa rin naman yung colors niya when it comes to the videos. But again guys, I'm medyo complain ko lang talaga sa phone nito Sa price ng phone nito you can actually get a better phone with a better display quality like the Yumi DG A3X or even the Realme 5. Punta naman tayo sa ating hardware performance and operating system ng ating Nokia 2.3. So this phone runs in stock Android based on Android 9.5 and powered na rin siya ng MediaTek Helio 822 with GPU of PowerVR GE8320. So right now guys, I have Mobile Legends with me and check natin kung magkakaroon ba tayo ng smooth performance para sa ating Nokia 2.3 when it comes to the Mobile Legends. So in fairness guys, available naman yung high frame rate mode sa ating Mobile Legends sa Nokia 2.3. So iset natin siya and iset din natin yung graphics niya to high. So so far guys, okay naman siya. Never naman ako nakaka-experience ng any lag. My only problem is when it comes to the multitasking, kapag medyo marami talagang 
apps na naka-open sa phone nito, doon mo talaga mapapansin yung medyo pagkabagal niya at minsan naglalag talaga siya. But so far, when it comes to the Mobile Legends, okay naman siya guys. I mean, tolerable naman siya for me. I think the question is, magtatagal ba ang phone nito na ganito pa rin yung performance niya? Knowing na kakabukas or kaka-unbox pa lang natin ng phone nito. So, let's see guys. But so far, what do you think of this phone right now when it comes to the Mobile Legends? You can actually leave a comment down below guys and sabihin nyo sa akin yung thoughts nyo about this um, performance or yung hardware performance para sa ating Nokia 2.3. So enough with playing the Mobile Legends and also I want to mention as well yung variant na meron ako right now guys for the Nokia 2.3 and I think yung only variant na available right now sa market is the 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage and good thing kasi expandable na rin yung um, internal memory niya up to 256GB via micro SD. And again guys, I'm really not complaining when it comes to the RAM ng ating phone. It's just that sa price ng phone ito, may mga sometimes sa price ng phone ito available na yung 3 gig or 4 gig or even 6 gigabyte. So I'm not sure why 2 gigabyte lang yung meron sa phone ito. But overall, okay naman siya. So far, tolerable naman siya. But again, in the long run, ano yung magiging performance sa ating Nokia 2.3? And while I'm showing to you guys the Antutu benchmark score para sa ating Nokia 2.3, sabihin ko na rin sa inyo guys na for the battery, we have a 4,000 milliamp hour na battery capacity para sa ating Nokia 2.3. And lastly, for the camera performance para sa ating Nokia 2.3, we have a dual camera setup for this phone with the LED flash. So for the first camera, we have a 13 megapixel with f2.2 aperture camera. And the second one is for the 2 megapixel camera for depth sensor. And for the front or selfie camera natin, guys, we have a 5 megapixel with f2.4 aperture camera and for video recording yung front and back natin can actually shoot up to 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second so i'll be showing you some sample photos guys so you can actually decide whether or not maganda ba talaga ang quality performance or yung camera performance ng ating nokia 2.3 or hindi This phone retails for 5,990 pesos guys and right now if you're gonna buy this phone I believe makakuha kayo ng free Bluetooth speaker as well as a free jelly case if you're gonna buy this phone but I think guys for me hindi mo na talaga kailangan ng free jelly case for this one as you can see sobrang okay naman yung likod niya may pagka matte finish siya and sobrang ganda ng colors sobrang ganda ng color niya guys so might as well show it na lang 
rather than lagyan niya pa ng jelly case ang ating phone or yung Nokia 2.3. But if you really want your phone to be protected, then by all means, you can actually use the jelly case for this phone. But my only problem is, guys, for the price of this phone, I think mas marami atang option na pwedeng yung bilhin sa market today with this price range. Like the Realme 5, I think 1,000 pesos na lang yata idadagdag mo. Magkakaroon ka na ng Realme 5 na may 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage, I think. And also, you made the G A3X. That phone is something na pwede kong may recommend sa inyo, guys. I think that phone has a 3GB of RAM and 16 gigabyte of internal storage but i highly recommend that phone rather than the nokia 2.3 because of its price so what do you think of the nokia 2.3 guys so leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts about this phone kung maganda ba talaga siya or hindi so if you think na nagustuhan nyo ang unboxing and review ko for the Nokia 2.3, please don't forget to like this video, share it to your Facebook account and your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and tap the bell icon para ma-notify kayo sa mga future unboxing video ko. So once again, this is Wax from Wax Attack channel. Have a great day guys. Bye guys!